Hello, my name is Vin Morgan, and I welcome this opportunity of speaking with you about a couple of factors that are associated with bone gain around the Vicon implant. Although we have been using the Vicon implant exclusively since 1992, it was not until after the turn of the century that we began to recognize various factors associated with bone gain. Initially, we were just delighted uh, in not experiencing the level of bone loss that we had with our previous implants. So this aspect of having bone gain was a total boon to us. In this video, we shall present a clinical case of seven years duration, which will show how the length of the abutment shaft and the diameter of its hemispherical base are significant factors in both uh, causing bone loss and in causing bone gain. Treatment was initiated for this 50-year-old woman by initially extracting her maxillary right first molar and placing an implant on the same day in conjunction with an internal sinus lift procedure. The implant was uncovered and an impression was taken for an integrated abutment crown. Unfortunately, the shaft of the integrated abutment crown was, was too long and the hemispherical base was too narrow which unfortunately resulted in bone loss. Four years after the initial insertion of the implant, this bone loss was recognized and we took corrective action by simply removing the inappropriate uh, integrated abutment crown and replacing it with a, an integrated abutment crown which had a shorter shaft and a larger hemispherical base. And to our delight, in three years, as the radiograph will show, we had bone gain we decided to incorporate these two features, or this knowledge rather, into our new universal abutment. So today, with the universal abutment, we only have one shot length of the abutment shaft, and any uh, length adjustments are accommodated in taller hemispherical bases with the prosthetic post of all of the abutments uh, being the same length. This has uh, resulted in a very user-friendly and uh, convenient abutment for both the laboratory technician and dentist. In closing, I would encourage you to look into our new universal abutment and its various components, which I believe will be a benefit for not only you and your technician, but most importantly for your patients. Thank you for having watched.